right, folks, welcome to another league with band control in today's dead modern format, playing the soon to be banned card. Kyu Biofate. Okay, that's the name. I feel like I know that name, but I don't, I don't know from where. Where do I know that name from? Okay, Mystic Sanctuary Mirror Match. What do you got, opponent? Hallowed Fountain. Lavinia Asorius Renegade. Okay. So I guess my forces aren't very good. Just gonna slam this to fairy faster than the eyes can see. And uh, sandwiches plus. Main deck Lavinia. Main deck Lavinia. So they're probably gonna draw step, blow up my field of the dead, which sucks. Like it actually is bad for me, but especially when I keep drawing blanks. At least it does feed Uro. I think we're going with the fairy here, playing around Manalik. Vito. My opponent is full of surprises. Full of surprises, I tell you. Flooding just a tiny bit. Just a tiny, tiny bit. It's okay. I thought we were done with modern. I am done with modern, but people seem to want me to play modern, so here I am, playing modern. The good thing is, at least I think this deck is somewhat playable. Start here. Then we're gonna pass Lavinia. Opt. Okay. Hmm. Snapcaster Vito. Okay. Um. Seems important to protect this Teferi. It seems like the only reason why we are still somewhat in this game, so I'm gonna protect it. Man, we did a flood really hard here. 
We can ask Hardcast with this force if it comes down to that. Missed the first half of this match, but it's weird that they are keeping up on cards. I guess you've got a little flooded though. I've got it ridiculously flooded, yeah. Opponent's gonna path. Okay. Jace is brutal. We might have been able to keep up before Jace, but now that Jace is here, might be a little bit too much. I guess I'm gonna look what I draw. Before I, because if I find like Field of the Dead, Jace, it's not bad. Okay. Wow, all of these just resolved. Uh, well, I guess I'm just gonna draw this path to exile, I guess. And we have one more planeswalker than my opponent, so I guess that we should be advantaged. Silly game. Very silly game. We're a little bit behind on clock, so we have to watch out for that. Why am I tired of modern? Have you tried playing modern, Alopkas? The format is basically unplayable. Um, the good thing is that a lot of people are just trying to beat the best deck instead of playing the best deck, which would be, you know, the objectively the objectively better thing to be doing. So that means that at least you get slightly more playable matches. They plus Jace, which I think it's not a good plan. It would suck if they have Shark Typhoon, but like I need I need to draw into Cryptic to answer my opponent's baby Tef. Nope, no such luck. Um... Pass the turn. If they have Shark Typhoon, we are in trouble. They don't, sweet, okay. <laughs> so I think we are ahead now. I think this is a very bad idea to plus on me. What's up, hey, Lex, how's it going? Like, I can stop that whenever I feel like it, thanks to the fairy, so it doesn't seem like a solid plan that my opponent is trying to enact over there. Definitely gonna fetch here next step because we know that our top cards are bad. Plus first, plus here, and I'm always like cantripping first because that means that I get to, I get to draw one deeper with Jace. Damn man. Um...
Oh, it's up. Just say, how's it going? I think we activated all of the dudes. This literally doesn't matter. This also seems like a little bit of a waste. Mystic Sanctuary just to get back a nonsense card. We shuffled, though I think I'm just gonna have six here. We're looking for Cryptic Command, but we can't find it for whatever reason. Morning continues on the plus plan. Dwelling time rivalers is silly. It, it, it is, yeah, it, it really is. We're just one cryptic command away from winning the game, but as soon as we find cryptic, we're just gonna win because we're gonna have a time rubber and my opponent's not going to, but just can't find it. <laughs> just literally can't find the stupid card. There's three cryptics in our deck. Pitch this mana leak. As long as the fairy doesn't die, we can't deck ourselves, so that's that's the good thing. Cryptic command. There we go. Okay, so now we win. One, two, three, four. I guess I don't want to draw a card. Stop their creatures. Because if I draw a card, I'm just going to discard it, so it doesn't make too much sense. What do you think my hand is, opponent? <laughs> what do you think I have in my five card hand where I didn't do anything for a million turns? What do you think I got going on here? Honestly, I should have countered draw just for value. Yeah, I should have definitely counter drawn there. And now we win. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna win with Jace. I think it's gonna be the fastest way to win.
Uh, let's do that now, yeah. Counter target spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. I tapped it wrong. Doesn't matter. This is just garbage time. My opponent just farming my clock. Yeah, okay. Appreciate the, the concession there. Um, do you think blue-white control will come back after Ruler dies? Or will Band be a, better, be a mainstay? Uh, well, I mean, the second that you cut Udo from your deck, then Field of the Dead becomes a lot worse. And ergo, um, our promise becomes a lot worse. So I think that the second that you cut Field of the Dead from the equation, like, you just don't want to be playing that anymore. You, you just don't want to be playing Bant anymore. So you can move on to play something like... I don't know. Like Jeskai or Blue-White. Probably straight up blue white is better. Don't you think Phil will get SL? I don't know. Like uh, wizards does wizards decisions are not logical, and they are very often simply not accurate. So maybe they ban field of that maybe they don't like i literally have no way of knowing and me think like trying to make arguments one way or the other is just a pointless thing to be doing so i'm just gonna wait to see what happens and i'm just going to react based on that like there, there's not much else to be doing i think band will still be a thing field is nuts yeah probably but then maybe you don't want to be banned and you want to just be bug. I don't know. I'm just going to shock here. Represent a mystical dispute. France playing Uru and calling another Dex the bad guy and I'm agreeing with him. What a world. Yeah, I know. Tenorca, it's just brutal. What does Chet think? It's Field of the Dead bad for Modern, kind of like it in the format, not that I play myself. I mean, you're gonna, you're gonna ask like a bunch of different people and people are gonna answer based on their biases, so it's not... Same thing, it's just one of those questions that is not particularly pro uh, productive because there's so much bias involved. Her mana's not looking very good. If we miss the ladder, we're gonna be in bad shape. Oof, dodge. Also opt, I don't think it's a playable card. Opt is not a playable card in control decks. You're simply not getting enough of an effect, in my opinion. Just get... Um, I think I'm getting Prairie Stream, because if I draw Hollow Fountain, I definitely want to... I probably want to shock for it. That's a, such a sick draw. <laughs> That is such an insane draw. That's probably a game winning draw right there. Besides Surum of the decks that need the help such as Titan decks. Yeah. <laughs> Remember when I said that this was a game winning draw? Yeah, that's exactly what I meant. <clears throat> Promise it limits the science space and also makes Amulet Titan in particular be too good sometimes. I don't think Amulet has ever been too good. Because every time Amulet was good, there was something better. The only time where Amulet was too good was in the Summer Bloom days. When it was the best deck in the format. But still, it wasn't too good. It just was, you know, the best deck in the format. 
but it was it had is at that point in time there was no force of negation there was like it really limited what you the ways that you could uh, you could uh, combat the deck so in that sense i think that summer bloom was uh, rightfully bind, banned <laughs> perfect mana perfect mana that sounds good Come to think, limited design space means nothing because wizards, DGAF, I don't know what DGAF means. But at most of five, I'm gonna assume that they're playing a nonsense deck, which means that we're probably losing to it. Oh, that's a good fuck. There you go. Both you and OP only have reflecting pool. What do you mean? to five can we find the other gust is the only thing that matters is can we we didn't okay so we're gonna lose that was fun chat wasn't it wasn't that fun alex jet thank you for the rave welcome everybody from alex's stream hope you folks are having a good day we're just dealing with this Absolute nonsense. How was your stream? What did you do? Just part when you skillfully played your lands. Yep, my opponent moved into five, and nothing I did ever mattered. You love to see it. Great, great format. My favorite thing is people asking me why I'm why I don't like playing modern right now. It's just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> are you kidding me? Are you really asking me why I don't like playing this fucking format? Are you being Do you think that the question that you're asking is reasonable? Creo que merece más ban banky que euro. No hay ningún argumento al respecto. Es así. I can't drop there even though the Valky did nothing because I need to find my fucking thingy. Um, they're gonna ultimate Valky with give, which means that they're gonna get back another Valky. Like I'm just gonna concede. Like this game just ma just makes no sense anymore. My opponent won the game on turn one. Um, okay, so this is how I like sideboarding in this matchup specifically. Biting needles. Cut the paths. Uh, we kind of have to go out of our way to make sure that we don't have Uros in our hand whenever in the early game because the Valky can be kind of problematic if that were to happen. Uh, we like Romance, we might like Mana League, we like Purges, Spell Pierce, Veil of Summer, Piety Needle, Deafening Silence, Aether Gusts, Forces, um, what else? One land, seven mana walker, yeah, on turn one. Nice and easy. On a move to five. 
I want to move to five, no less. Oh, dispute. We won't dispute. I totally forgot about dispute. We're going to keep this in that if my opponent makes the same play that they made on the previous game, we're going to lose again. <clears throat> and there's nothing we can do about it. Because there's only one card in the entire format that interacts with that, and it is... Uh, if we are on the play, the only card that interacts with that is um, Spell Pierce. When it moves to five again. This time with gemstone caverns. Pitching snow cover forest. Nyx, yeah, uh, playable cards. Nyx is not a playable card. Same thing. To say that this is a miserable experience is a gross understatement. I am playing the Shockland and Shocking because it represents counter magic a little bit better. Maybe my opponent will play around it. Um, here I'm just I'm just gonna go. Um, okay, the last count is violent outburst. No, it's not. Okay, so I'm gonna throw a fetch here because we can put a force on top. My opponent is also playing a deck with uh, potentially Omnath, potentially Euro, uh, definitely the Fairy Time Raveler. So we still we still have a lot of work ahead of us right here. Still got a lot of work ahead of us. And my opponent is a good player, so I'm not expecting them to make any silly mistakes like going for it for no reason and, you know, st stupid things like that. Remand is a fine pick up there. We have Remand plus Veil here. Um, gain control of Target. So if we Veil, we blow them out. Oh, no, this, this is just countered. Whoops. Well, I'm a stupid. Still worked out, but... I can put Remand on top to guarantee that I hit a blue card for force. Seems kind of necessary. Yep, we would have whiffed. <laughs> All 
Are you entertained, chat? Are you entertained? Green. Um, it's stopped properly. Alright, Jace. You're gonna have to hook me up here, boy. You're gonna have to hook me up here. Phew. Okay. So my bonus hand is Commandeer. And a couple of other cards. I'm glad I'm not playing modern right now. Do we know when BNR is supposed to be announced? Uh, no, it nobody said a time for that. So we don't know. Sand is potentially too slow. Are any of these decks playing trickery? Is it just Valky Cascade? No, it's just Valky Cascade. I have not played my land yet. I have not played my land and I'm facing a T-Bolt. Is this fun, chat? Are you having fun? Are you having fun? Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? Is this not why you're here, chat? Are you not entertained? I, uh, I don't think there's any deck in the format that can beat that. Unless you have Commandeers of your own. Like, the only card in the entire format that beats that is Commandeer. But that is what is allowed to exist in the current modern format. In case you're wondering why I don't like playing modern on stream and why I have been doing other stuff. That right there! So I hope you enjoyed it. Because I didn't. And this is while I'm playing a deck that's built to beat that deck. I am playing a deck that is literally built to beat that. And my opponent went turn one. Uh, how's it going, Jacob? Jacob went turn one Tibalt on your upkeep before you play a land when your force of negation is it doesn't work. I mean, you, you don't have to be sorry. Like, wizards are just idiots. It's not your fault. You're just doing what you, what you should be doing. Everybody, everybody who wants to win should be playing that deck and that deck only. This should be a one deck metagame because that deck is a lot better than everything else in the entire format. Nothing comes even remotely close to it. I think that this deck is more egregious than Hogak. Hogak, you could have Leyline against Hogak. You know what I'm saying? 
There's literally nothing you can do against this deck. Also, I don't know why I did this. I shouldn't have done this. Because now I'm going to get remanded. And I don't have a blue card for force. And I don't have a white source for... This was just a terrible play, but I'm just kind of tilted. <laughs> okay, look, look into draw a force here. A blue card, sorry. Okay, we did draw a cryptic, so we kind of got bailed out there, but... I had two negations, Commandeer, and Dispute. Yeah, like, that, that is... It's it's just so egregious, Jacob. <laughs> I think that this deck is better than Hogak. I think that the deck is legit better than Hogak. Contra Hogak, Ibulo puede llegar a lidiar con Tibalt turno 1, no. Yeah, the issue is that Tibalt, it's a plus, so it goes up to 7, so you can't kill it, right? Um, but the most egregious thing is how, like, you plus Tibalt and you exile more Cascade spells, and then, like, your Tibalt just finds more Tibalt. Like, what are you supposed to do? You answer the first one and then you die to the second on the or the third one or the fourth one. Like it just doesn't matter. You're just gonna lose eventually. You're just delaying the unavoidable. You can't win. Like your opponent won on turn one on your upkeep. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could play Euro here, but like there's no need for me to do that, so I'm just gonna pass. Electromancer. I'm gonna cryptic counter draw here because we already have two. Uh, we already have two Mystic Sanctuaries. I think if they play another ritual here. I mean, we don't care about empty though. They do get to kill my dude, my Teferi, so... Yeah, okay. Just gonna Mystic Sanctuary the Cryptic again. And I'm gonna hard cast this force. They can skate text need fixing, yeah. Storm. How are we doing in our blue card count? We should be fine, I think. Yeah, we're more than fine. 26. This hand's not very good. Uh, this hand is decent, actually. Okay. We got good mana, so I'm just gonna bottom the field of the dead. Playing storm when everybody plays Deafening Silence, yeah, I know. Bold, bold proposition from opponent, but wait, did I bring in Deafening Silence? Pfft. Big face bomb. <laughs> Big face bomb. Yes, yes, 
Big, big face bomb. Let's see if I can find it. There we go. Feels bad, man. I'm gonna go for a growth spiral because I don't think my opponent's gonna do anything. If I go for a growth spiral. Salon Division Resolves. Ooh, I could have... Oh... I could have gusted in there in response and get rid for, of the Electromancer for good. Mm. Yeah, I should have slowed down there. Aria Flame? Sure. We could get disputed though. We could get disputed. I think it's good to, for me to go for it here because I'm gonna be using my mana anyway. They bought on the Aria. These gifts were forcing. It's probably the only thing I would force here, gifts. Not bad. I'm gonna be cracking this right now. If it resolves, just so I can. It's better, it's more likely for me to be able to cash in this spell because, like, if my opponent draws another gifts, we can actually pierce it. Now we can start getting sombos. Starting here because we might, we might find an island. It's not bad. White, one, blue, baby teff. Gusto. All right. We're doing it. What are we getting here? Hallowed Fountain? We're just getting Mystic Sanctuary Force of Negation, right? Yep. Oh, I'm an idiot. That's why I didn't get Mystic Sanctuary before. <laughs> Whoops. Sean W. Bruno, thank you so much for the subscription. Right as I, <laughs> right as I make this stupid mistake. Thank you, Sean. Welcome to the primetime stronghold. Thank you for coming back. Let's try. It. This is not a good combo. Aha. Uh -huh. So I don't think Spell Pierce is going to be very good anymore. So I'm just going to bottom both of this. Get, make a zombie. 
Um, I have a lantern on top, which I do want to draw. But I also want to get rid of my opponent's yard. And this stops gifts and given. So I'm just going to target them. And we're holding up Aether Gust. Which seems better than... like With gifts locked up, it seems better to hold up Aether Gust than to hold up... Um, the spell pierce, obviously. Pierce is not looking very good. My opponent has a bazillion lands. One grape shot is gone. Oddly enough, it kind of feels like their aria would have been not the worst. I guess I don't want to draw the pierce, so I'm gonna actually up minus now just so I can mill the pierce. Hopefully me land one of my two rows. We didn't, but that's okay. Just brainstorm into more nonsense. And that should lock it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Excellent. So we put both of these back. Soul Guide Lantern. We excel one of our things, whatever. Swing for four and we have double cryptic command up with a baby Tef in play. So we're good. If this is Metamorphos, I'm just going to counter it. My opponent will probably concede. See if we can get another 4 on 1 with this list. One thing that makes me that makes me excited about it is that we are consistently beating most of the decks that are good against the Valky decks. Although let's be real, there's no decks that are good against the Valky decks, but the decks that people think are good against the Valky decks, let's put it like that. Can I have my Path to Exile back, please? Oh, <laughs> be careful what you wish for, I guess. <laughs> White Source, please. <laughs> I guess Udo would be the best draw. Udo into White Source is how we win this game. Look at this Prairie Stream here coming in clutch. Just look at this Prairie Stream coming in clutch. Yikes. When he has five cards in hand, it's not looking good. Uh, do we have to draw? I mean, we have to find Uro. It's the only way that we win this game. So I'm just going to counter draw, take four. Oh, there we go. We could have bounced one of their dudes to gain effectively two, but... Force, one time, our promise. So we're there to double one drop. Not, 
Not those one drops. Fairy on top. It's weird to path the gobbles instead of the sweep spheres, but my opponent's missing their land drop and we need to find something good here. So we go up to seven. Not bad. I have to draw fours, right? I'm gonna play the fairy here and bounce one of my opponent's sweep spears. So I think I have to say no. And I have to draw into fours. Because now like my opponent has been having mana issues, but and like their hand is stacked with gasoline. That was actually not bad either. So three one mana spells or Boros Charm plus uh, one mana spell. But they have if they have creatures, we can deal with that. We can beat creatures, but we cannot beat everything else. If my opponent attacks, I'm just gonna block with the Sombo. Wait, did they fuck up? I think my opponent forgot about Baby Tef. I think they forgot about Baby Tef. Well, now we can draw the Cryptic, so we're in fine shape. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, yeah. So we draw a cryptic, if we draw a force, we'll probably have it locked up. We don't. Riff Bolt to Fairy. That resolves. So now we can't get lethal. And we have lethal because of our. Yep. I'll take it. I'll take it. Wasn't really expecting to win that one, but. Definitely silence is interesting against Bo against burn. It's probably okay on the play. I'm probably not gonna be a fan of it on the draw. I guess the fairy is also kind of bad on the draw as well. Like it's okay, but it's just medium. On the play, it's a lot more exciting. with something like this. We have to be mindful of uh, the thing that prevents us from gaining life. Sand seems just a little bit too slow. No spells until turn three and, we, and that spell is not Uro. Uh, this one we can keep. Um, are we bottom in hour? I think we're bottom in hour. We could just bottom Field of the Dead. Or we can bottom Mystic Sanctuary. I'm 
be some bottom bottom field. We're gonna have to find lands though. Go ball, lands please. Nope. And they also know about Uro, which is pretty bad for us. It's an Eidolon. Okay, so we're probably gonna lose this one. Purge. Celestial Purge. Force of Negation. Can I take two to Growth Spiral? We take two Growth Spiral. We go down to 10. Opponent has two or three spells that they can play. But then we can potentially untap and we're gonna fetch as well. I mean, I have to draw into one answer for the Eidolon. Udo then only gains a single point of life. Spiral into Bath. It's my way to winning this here, I guess. It's kind of a neat art. I like that. Celestial Purge is on top. Ugh, gross. Um, can't beat that, right? We're one land short of beating that. Yeah, we're just dead. Remand better on the play, still not excited about it. And a terrible top deck. It is an answer to an Eidolon though. At least a temporary answer. Okay, this hand seems better to me. Ooh, we're gonna need some blue sources, but okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, Swiss Spear is so good, man. They put Swift Spear on top. Another Gust. Now we can Gust plus Planes next turn. We need to find lands though. Without lands, this is gonna be really tough. We have the tools, we just need the lands. Because my opponent was in the business of taking two damage for no reason. I respect it. Yeah, that's kind of not what I was talking about. Okay, any untapped land, we'll do it though. Any untapped land that we may be able to stabilize. Roiling Vortex.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do here, it's a little bit counterintuitive, but we're gonna take the damage from the Swift Spear, and then I'm gonna gust the Vortex on end step. The reason for this is that my plan is to our promise, so if we manage to our promise, the our promise just by design is going to answer the Swift Spear. It's not gonna be able to attack, and then that means that my opponent's gonna need to use two mana. We, we whiff, so now we're gonna lose the game, but, um, but the, the reason it was, if I leave, if I answer the Swift Spear and I leave the Rolling Vortex unattended, um, then I'm going to be taking as much damage from the Rolling Vortex than from the Swift Spear, and I'm taking then more damage from the Swift Spear as well. So this time around, we probably have to kill the Swift Spear because that's just too much damage. But at this point, I think we're we're not going to be able to win. At this point, I think that we're just done. Land. Land, please. I'm not getting life, thank you. Okay. Maybe, just maybe. Ugh, so you see brutal there. They should go face. Okay, we don't really have any plan here. This is just what it is. We're just going to... Our promise that we're going to hope that my opponent doesn't have two spells. Field of the Dead and the Blue Source. Um, Prairie Stream. Hallowed Fountain, I guess. And this is not even lethal, but I can't even get the fetch. So. I don't know, maybe their hand is flooded with two drops or something? Second Vortex. This obviously doesn't do anything. Because we're going to have lethal next turn regardless. Uh, well, that's my point to have Path to Exile in their deck. Are we going to win this game to over cyborging? How will the giveaway work? Um, it's going to work... Um, Right after I finish this match, we're gonna take a, a short time to to talk about the giveaway in a second. So that needs to be exactly Boros Charm. So we can counter Bounce Rolling Vortex. Counter target spell, Bounce Rolling Vortex. And what this does, even if my opponent has another one drop, um, we go down to four and then we take only one and upkeep so i think we're winning this we should not have won that game we should have not have won that match all right so this is going to be the last uh, match of the day so the way that we're going to do it is you're going to have to uh, what we're doing here, by the way, is from my team, ICE, okay? So there are just two requirements. Number one, you need to be in the US, 
Number two, you need to um, follow ICE on Twitter, which you can see the link right there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start the giveaway and you're going to have to give away and you're going to have to invincible. Okay, so just go ahead and just type invincible in chat, just like you see it there and you can be eligible. Again, those two requirements. And at the end of the match, we're going to we're going to spin the wheel and see who gets a collector's booster. Okay. So hopefully these structures are fairly straightforward there. But yeah, at the end of the match, we're gonna give away. At the end of the the, the match, we're going to give a give away a collector booster to when very lucky winner Lurus of the dream then we're on the play Kind of want to go get Temple Garden with this. So I'm just going to lead on Basic Island here. <laughs> it's not in in invisible. It's invincible. It's Invincible Crew Entertainment. That's the name. Of, that's that's what ICE uh, what ICE stands for. There you go. Bubble resolves. The idea is to snatch, uh, to snatch a Thoughtseize here, right? Hopefully we get lucky. Not as good as a Thoughtseize, but I'll take it. Not as good as a Thoughtseize, but I'll take it. You could play Valky Combo in the Lurus deck. Um, I think so. I'm not 100% sure on that, but it's possible that you're right. I think I'm gonna ditch the Force here. Not sure whether my opponent's playing. Whether my opponent's playing um, Shadow or not just yet. Not a good drop. You do lose monkey, that's true. Sure. Land, please. I imagine my opponent has a bolt in hand, but this this is still worth it, right? Yeah. They still wasted a bolt, right? And if I find a white source off of this, then we are in really, really good shape. Bingo. <laughs> But they effectively wasted a bolt. Main deck surgical extraction. All right, because we're gonna have to will win with our promise. Sounds good to me. Sounds like a plan. There's no way pathing the Swift Spear is correct, right?
or the faith of, yeah, we're not, we're not going to be short on win conditions. <laughs> like you can, uh, I, I am not, I'm not particularly worried about my opponent exiling my things. Uh, but I was thinking about pathing the Swift Spear because the amount of damage is the same and I can just Teferi bounce this. I think because I have, I, I, it, this is just like the, the much better threat though, right? So just getting rid of that for good is just too much better. And if my opponent has a second one, like we get punished too, so. All right. Sweet. Wolverine86, thank you for the follow. They play land. So I guess we're just gonna save the gust for Croxa. Um, let's get Breeding Pool. We just need to find something that has a different name. So we're going to go with Breeding Pool, I guess. We got the Croxa. And then my opponent probably has to attack Baby Tef. But if we find any land, we can trigger our Make Zombies. Sweet. And even if my opponent, Field of the Dead, Field of the Dead, even if they replay the Crocs or whatever, it literally doesn't matter because they just died to a bunch of zombies. Yeah, you got my, you got my cryptic. Oh, now what? She's gonna put our promise on top. We could put Path to Exile too, but I don't know, it's just more fun to put our promise on top. They could have exactly Colligan's command, I guess. Misty and Hallowed Fountain, I guess. More zombies. And I'm definitely attacking here. Like, my opponent can very easily survive this if they push or bolt one of my zombies. They block one, push, bolt the other one, they go down to two. That's fine. But they don't have... Like, they are not going to have enough time to... Uh, they simply won't have enough time to um, to leverage a shadow, which is what I want. I don't want to give my opponent to be able uh, give my opponent the time to be able to leverage a dead shadow. Yeah, we're 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 just done here. They go out of four, but like they don't have any way of winning the game, so it's irrelevant. Like I'm expecting this to happen because my opponent didn't put lures in their hand, right? Although I guess if they put lures in their hand, they were literally just dead on board, so makes sense for them to not do that. But. Sweet. Against death shadow. The shadow of death. Yeah, okay, this seems good to me. Uh we I guess that we don't want peers. Ghost, deafening silence. Just another baby tef, I guess. How's it going? Just join. Do you think feel is actually might get banned as well? Just do I don't know, Jeff Gut. I I don't want to to talk about that really. Like it, it's just pointless, right? I can tell you what I think and then something else happens and it's just like <laughs> There's just literally no point in discussing that. In, in discussing that, we just have to wait and we have to see what Wizards decides to do. But like talking about it is not going to change anything. It's not a it's not a particularly productive conversation.
Is it for using the US? Yeah, sorry, uh, Murky, more luck. Uh, by the way, giveaway is still going, folks. You just have to type invincible in chat. Just type invincible. And you're going to be eligible. You have to be in the US and you need to follow ICE on Twitter, okay? Those are the only requirements. Only requirements that you can get for free collector booster sent to your address. Uh, yeah, we have to ship this. Man, that's just too bad. Invisible. God damn it, Blazed. Can you, I withdraw? I'm not, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, Murky Morlock, we will. Um, if you win, I'll just reroll, so it's no big deal. No problem at all. So my opponent doesn't have Blood Moon. So I guess that means that I want to play around Boil. So I'm going to hold on to this Reflecting Ball right here. Hour's not bad. Hour is not bad. Be sure to tweet at us if you pull something good. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. We need you to brag about it. We need you to brag about it. It's a need that we have. Aura off the top. We're gonna, I think we're gonna just get a basic forest here. They don't have any spectacle cards. So I'm not interested in like fetching on my turn or anything. Bomat Courier. You miss a land drops over there, opponent? I think there, I think there is a land drops. So I am not gonna path. Not interested in help my opponent make those land drops. So we Udo here, we our next turn. Not very likely for our opponent to be able to come back from that. Obviously, Soul Guide Lantern does absolutely nothing here. Take five. Do, 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 Take five. Get it? It is our promise card. Pretty, pretty messed up. This sour promise card is pretty messed up. All right, that was sick. Uh, that was awesome. So I'm currently 504141 with this deck. Seems overall pretty decent. Um, we could go even harder on the Valky matchup. Like, obviously, the blue Valky matchup uh, it's, it's the best deck in the format for a reason. Like, it, it's just completely busted. If you want to win, if your only goal is to win the tournament, you should be playing the blue Valky deck. It is the best deck in the format, bar none, by a lot more than you would think it is. Like, that deck is broken, okay? If you're a little bit stubborn, just like I am, and you want to play in the weekend's PTQ, and you're like, okay, like, I just want to try something different, I don't want to be Valky guy, Sweet. Be aware that you're living win percentage on the table, but if you are still interested in doing it, this deck is pretty good. I have been enjoying this deck a lot. I think it's playing a lot of cards that are fine in the Valky matchup. We did play against Valky John in the first one, and we were able to keep up with it. Um, it's we're still playing for behind. You're always playing for be from behind. Okay, like there's 
it's not like you can really get too far ahead. But Udo is one of the very few cards that can allow your uh, your deck to somewhat keep up with Valky. Uh, but we played against the Valky deck and we lost twice to a Moon to 5. Because my opponent just turned one Valky me on my upkeep. Okay? At that point, we have access to a couple of answers. We have a couple of Aether Gust and we have Celestial Purchase. So, like, uh, we also have Piting Needle Poseidon. So, we do have answers if, if that were to happen in the early game. But, um, like, of course, you're you're going to be behind. <laughs> it's, just, it's just the way that it works. There's no way around it. Uh, but this deck is powerful. I would recommend it for sure. You have tools against basically every deck in the format. Like, we played against Shadow twice. We beat it both times. Uh, we played against Elves, uh, which was a little bit shaky. Like, maybe we could use, like, another Supreme Verdict. Maybe we could use some extra Engineered Explosives. Um, that's probably not where I want to be. I feel like three, ex three uh, Sweepers is kind of as far as I want to go. There are other um, creature decks. There are humans, there are the Taxes decks, etc. So that there are multiple creature decks, um, but I don't know how many of those we want to we wanna, uh, play. Uh, Shark Typhoon is basically like the... the, the what am I trying to say? Like the um, flex slots are the Shark Typhoon, Veil of Summer, Ashiok, and Soul Guide Lantern. Like if you wanna trade if you wanna trade this for anything else, like if you're like for example, if you're playing the event in the weekend and you're like, I'm gonna be playing against Valky like four or five times, which is very likely. Uh, then you can go out there, you can go ahead and play more Piping Needles in the sideboard, you can play even maybe one or two needles in the main deck, even. Um so you can like go a little bit overboard like that. But if you're playing in leagues like I am right now. Uh, you want to have access to more diverse answers and against again you want to have some game against the answer to bulky uh, decks right so you want to diversify your cyborg a little bit um, but uh, yeah this deck is good this deck is powerful and it's doing something that, I, that I'm enjoying a lot it's mostly this combo right this is the this is the main combination so this seems like a pretty solid Udo plus the fairy deck um, I think that the mana base is solid enough. We did have some mana problems. We, we definitely have had some mana problems uh, throughout this league, but um, you eventually just can't trip so much thanks to growth spiral, remands and stuff that eventually things get solved the vast majority of the time. So it feels like this is like this is fine. Again, like this is a 26 land deck. Don't count Field of the Dead as a, as a mana sources and just think of this as a 26 land deck and Field of the Dead is, is just a, a win condition, right? Like, it's it's like some extra... Uh, it's a win condition that you can tap for mana, basically. But yeah, that's going to be it for me today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, did I play against Burn? Twice. We beat it twice. Uh, but to be fair, one of my Burn opponents over Cyber a little bit, and they have, like, multiple Royal Vortex and multiple uh, Path to Exile, so, like, we ended up winning that game fairly easily. Um... If my opponent had had burn spells instead of those cards, we would have lost. That's going to be it for me today, though. Uh, make sure that you hit that uh, like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next video, folks. Bye-bye. Take care.